What does social distancing do to a program whose reason for existing is social connections? It's very damaging. And then we found a way to make it better. Our place suspended programs on March 16th to protect our participants, staff, and families. We knew that social distancing was important to slow the spread of the virus. On day one, we heard from participants. I miss my friends. When will we be back at our place? I'm not doing so good. By the end of the week, we heard about anxiety, boredom, depression. We also learned that we wouldn't be back together anytime soon. Listen to what our participants had to say in those first weeks. Hey, it's Travis and um, I miss Movie Talk with Emily. Hi everyone, I miss our place so much. I miss you guys so much. Hello, I played. I miss you guys on the time. At the end of the second week, we launched our online programs with a lot of listening and chatting. We wanted to hear how people were doing. As they joined Zoom, the smiles were huge, the hellos boisterous, and the energy contagious. We asked, how are you doing? Everyone said a version of, I am so happy to see my friends again. Take a look. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey, guys. Hey, Zach, did you, did you have something to add that you wanted to say? Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Well, the reason why I'm here is because of all of you guys. I mean, I really enjoyed having you guys here. Um, I love you guys so much. After a week of programs, we know we are on the right track. Participants are engaged, interested, learning. They join the same programs they did on site. Fitness, art, yoga, Zumba, hard words, book club. And they seem happy, engaged, connected. So there's the answer to the damage social distancing can do and how your support made it better. Thanks for all you do. One, two, three, three. 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 three.